Oh. Hello YouTube, Sentinel H here for episode 18 of my Reactor Craft tutorial series. Now, as far as I'm concerned, I'm pretty sure my Rotary Craft tutorial series is, gonna, is over at this point. Um, I've covered everything major, I'm pretty sure. If there's anything big that I haven't covered yet, let me know in the comments. Um, but I'm pretty sure that my weekly videos on that uh, is, is pretty much over. Anything that's left, I'm going to leave for you to find out. You know, when new stuff comes out, I'll definitely talk about it. And if there's anything specific you want to know about it, ask me in any video comment and I'll uh, cover it. But as for now, I think the Rotary Craft series is over. And for the Reactor Craft series, we're now talking about the hydrogen preheater. Uh, in this video, I'm going to, uh, we're going to take a look at all the blocks that you're going to need to make in order to build this multi-block structure, as well as how many you're going to need. And then on Thursday's video, we'll actually show you how to build it. And you're going to need at least one of these, probably multiples, in order to get enough plasma to run a fusion reactor, because this is the machine that actually uh, produces the plasma. Um, unlike the old uh, Greg Tech fusion reactor that I made, where the plasma is produced in the reactor and goes to a uh, generator, this thing works completely differently. So in order to make the hydrogen preheater, you are going to need all of these blocks. Thermal insulation core, preheater unit housing corner, preheater unit housing edge, preheater unit housing face, laser concentration lens, and oh, I forgot to put a sign here, but this is the actual hydrogen preheater itself. You're also going to need some magnetic containment pipes and a couple of uh, standard liquid pipes. Okay. So the first thing that we're going to take a look at how to make is a thermal insulation core, and that's because it's a crafting component for these three blocks, okay? So all of the preheater unit housing blocks require thermal insulation core. But you also need some of this for the actual multi-block. So it's actually quite easy to, build, to make. In a crafting station, a standard crafting bench, uh, surround an HSLA steel ingot in wool. That's it. It can be any color wool, doesn't matter, you can mix and match, It'll, you'll get the thermal insulation core. Okay, now you're going to need 30 of those to actually put in the multi-block itself, but you're going to need to make enough of it to make all three of these blocks. And we're going to, and I'll tell you how many that is when we're done talking about these blocks. So, preheater unit housing corner, also made in a crafting table. You're going to need five HSLA steel ingots and four thermal insulation core blocks for every block of preheater unit housing corner. And you're going to need 12 housing corners, all right? So make 12 of these. Preheater unit housing edges. It's it should be pretty obvious what these are for. You're going to need four thermal insulation core and five HSLA steel ingots. And you're going to need to make 40 of these preheater unit housing edges. To make the preheater unit housing face, again in a standard crafting table, use surround one thermal insulation core with eight HSLA steel ingots and that gets you one preheater unit housing face and you're going to need 43 preheater unit housing faces. Next you're going to need two of these laser concentration lenses which are created using a lens which, we sh which uh, is in the, uh, the heat ray tutorial but if you need a primer it's just uh, a blast glass surrounded by four diamonds. You're going to need to get one of these and surround it with four blast glass and four HSLA steel ingots. And you're going to need two of these. Then you're going to need the actual hydrogen preheater block itself, which is made in a work table. Remember that. Everything else so far is made in a standard crafting table. You're going to need a work table for this. And it's just four blast glass and four ferromagnetic ingots, which I showed you how to make in a previous tutorial. And then you're going to need some magnetic containment pipes, both as part of the multi-block and because this is the pipe that you use to transport the plasma from the preheater into the actual reactor. And that's simply three blast glass and six gold ingots, again, in a work table. I was actually quite surprised that this pipe doesn't require any ferromagnetic ingots, but you're going to need at least 16 of them, you know, because that's the minimum you can make. Um, Unlike in the, uh, the old Greg Tech, uh, I, don't know, I don't know how it fares now, um, you can't, you, you're not supposed to just store this stuff, alright? You're supposed to pipe, pipe this straight into the reactor, okay? So, um, so yeah, you're going to at least need to make one recipe's worth of that. So, uh, how much resources, how big of a resource investment actually is this thing? Well, in order to create 
uh, in order to get enough uh, thermal insulation core to have the 30 that you need to put in the block as well as to get all of these three blocks you're actually going to need to make 169 thermal insulation core um, and to do that you're going to need 1352 wool blocks that's about 20 that's a little over 21 stacks of wool all right so you do need quite a bit of wool so you're going to probably want a sheep farm a sizable one so you know 21 about 21 stacks of wool you're also going to need about 604 HSLA steel ingots. It's about nine and a half stacks of, uh, of steel ingots. Okay? Plus these other things, you know, eight diamonds and a bunch of blast glass, uh, which is made in the pulse jet furnace. Um, you're also going to need, in, a, in order to actually uh, use this thing, a heat ray. <laughs> so you gotta make that too. So uh, if you need to, to know how to make this, go back to my uh, Rotary Craft tutorial. Uh, there's a video all about the heat ray because you're going to need one. <laughs> and in order to power it, you're going to need a you're going to need a, uh, a, a you're going to need a a, a, a <laughs> jet engine. So it's actually quite a uh, a resource um, investment to make one of these uh, hydrogen preheaters. But this is the uh, the machine which converts the deuterium and the tritium, which we've been uh, looking at how to produce, into the actual uh, hydrogen plasma that you feed into the, uh, the fusion reactor in order to make it go. So uh, you're going to need at least one of these things, um, and you may you're probably going to need more. Um, I'm not sure if you need one per plasma injector. But if you do, then you're going to need four of these, um, at least. I'm not sure if you need more than one of these either. Uh, I haven't, you know, messed with it. But um, I'll, I'll know all of that by the time I start talking about the fusion reactor itself. Because remember, once we're done talking about this kind of stuff that we need to that you need to know about before building the actual reactor, this series is going to go on a bit of a pause while I put all that together uh, and do all that testing and actually make the reactor work. So uh, yeah, look forward to that. Um, in the meantime, uh, gather these resources. If you're doing this in survival, um, you get all get the resources together. I will put all of the numbers that I quoted in this uh, in, in this video in the description, um, or you can just watch it back. But I'm going to put them all in the description, and I'm also going to link to a. Um, now we'll do that next video, but I'll put all the numbers in the description so that you know them. So anyway, um, I hope you I hope you, <laughs> I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, hydrogen preheater, pretty expensive. Um, but nothing near the actual fusion reactor. Anyway, I'm Sutton Leitch. Look forward to Thursday's video where we build this thing. And I'm signing out.